Hey there, this is Jake. I've been hearing a lot of buzz around tools and methods claiming to remove blacklisted IMEI or bad ESN from your device. Let's set the record straight. While some of these services might work, they can come with a risk and they're often not free. But don't fret. I have an even better way for you. A safer, quicker, and absolutely free method that works like a charm on any iOS, Android phones, and all devices using SIM cards. Let's dive into it and get that bad ESN off your device for good. Let's be clear. This guide is here to help those who've misplaced their access details for their own devices. No sneaky stuff, all right? We're not supporting any shady actions, like breaking into stolen devices. Stay legal, respect everyone's rights. All the advice we're sharing falls within YouTube's rules and community norms. Now with that said, let's get going. All right, let's dive into these services. Online, you'll find a bunch of options for removing a blacklisted IMEI from your device. Three of the top dogs in this field are ES and Doctor, Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, and Safe Unlocks. Each one of them has unique features that make them stand out. And you know what? They all do a good job. They've helped countless folks like us who've just lost track of their access info and want to reclaim their devices. Remember though, we're just exploring these options for academic interest. We're not saying you gotta use these services. In fact, you'll see in our next step, we're going to deep dive into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. It's all about sharing info and helping each other out, right? So stick around. Just a quick heads up, friends. The unlock services we're discussing mainly operate in first world countries. But don't worry if you can't access or prefer not to use these services. We've got your back. We're offering 250 unlocks every week to our viewers as a thank you for being part of our community. If you want to be considered, all you need to do is a simple three-step process. First, show some love by liking this video, then make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Finally, drop a comment below with your device's model, for example, Samsung S9, your IMEI, and your country. That's it. You're automatically entered into our weekly unlocking giveaway as soon as you complete these steps. So don't hesitate. We're here and ready to help you unlock your device. Let's start by opening up your favorite internet browser on your phone or computer. Type in unlockhere.com and hit enter to open their official site for AI unlocking and blacklist removal. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty. It's an AI tool made by the Unlock Here team. Scroll down a bit and look for the option that says Fix IMEI Blacklist. Click on that. Next, it's time to fill out the steps on the app. Start by picking your device's brand from the list. Don't worry, they've got all the big brands and most of the smaller ones too. Found it? Cool. Hit the next button. Now, you need to enter the IMEI or serial number of your device. If you don't know how, there's a handy guide right in the app. A quick way is to go to your phone's dialer and type asterisk number sign 06 number sign. A pop-up will appear showing your IMEI number. You're nearly done. Just enter your name and email. Make sure you've read and agreed to the app's terms and conditions. If you're unsure, check out the resources they provide. Once you've finished all that, you'll get an email confirming the unlock. It usually takes around 5 to 15 minutes, so keep an eye out. It might even end up in your spam or promotions folder, just in case, check those too. Got the email? Great. Now copy the verification code from the email, click on confirm my order, and paste that code on the page. Complete the CAPTCHA, hit validate info and start unlock, and you're all set. And that's it, you're done. Nifty will take over and wrap up the unlocking process. Just pop in a compatible SIM card and restart your device. As demonstrated, the IMEI unlock method proves to be highly effective, not only for the Samsung S9, but also for a wide range of devices. You can go ahead and give it a try with confidence, and feel free to inspect your device to ensure everything is running smoothly. If anything trips you up along the way, don't hesitate to chat with live support. They're ready and waiting to help you out. All right, guys, let's explore some more alternative ways to remove a carrier blacklist. Remember, you don't have to go the extra mile and compete for highly competitive solutions. Sometimes the answer lies in the lesser known yet still effective methods. First off, you can reach out directly to your carrier. This is a legitimate and often successful way to remove the blacklist from your IMEI. Your carrier may require you to fulfill certain conditions, such as settling overdue payments or completing a certain period of service. It's always worth a try. Another method is to use third-party services like Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, or ES and Doctor, which we mentioned earlier. These services are great, but remember to use them responsibly. Remember, each situation is unique, so the effectiveness of these methods may vary. Always explore all your options and, most importantly, use these methods responsibly 
only for devices you legally own. And that's a wrap for today. Thanks for hanging out with me and exploring these legal ways to remove the blacklist from your phone. Stay tuned for more videos, and remember, we're on this tech journey together.